If I tell you that we're moving the bust dart to the shoulder, what sloper do you need to start with? You need to start with a front sloper that has a bust dart, not just the combined waist dart. It needs to be able to have both darts. You can do this with the torso sloper that has the diamond dart because it also has a bust dart. So if you're doing a torso sloper instead of a bodice sloper, the only difference is a torso sloper extends to hip line and the bodice sloper stops at waistline. And they only do that with the female slopers. The male slopers, they just figure nothing you ever wear is gonna stop at your belly button. You don't see men in crop tops. <laughs> it would be funny. I guess you do. Jersey Shore, you see them all the time. I'm like, Jersey Shore, Venice Beach, absolutely you'll see them in crop tops. That's about the only place you'll see them in crop tops. Yeah, coastal areas. Mostly, because they want to show off those abs, right? But for the most part, it's just a fashion no-go. Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so slash method, we are going to be opening up this seam just like we did the skirt where we slashed through the dart and flared it somewhere else or we moved the dart to another place. So similar to number one, similar to number three, we're just using the slash method. We want to move this dart to the shoulder. So first of all, we need to know where the center of your shoulder seam is. And you can put it in the center, but what if your aesthetic line wants it to be closer to the arm's eye? You want that style line to be coming in farther over here, closer to the arm's eye. I need to draw an aesthetic really quick so I can play with it and show you what I mean. Oi. I am getting better at these. But I've never had to do one sideways, so that's weird. Okay, so we know we're keeping bust darts. I mean waist darts. We know we're keeping that. Our bust dart that would come in here, we're moving into the shoulder. I told you to find the center of your shoulder. That would make your aesthetic come in more like this. What happens if you want your aesthetic to be more over like this? What happens if you want it to be coming in more like this? How do you want that dart to be? What do you want it to look like? For me, I'm just gonna put it in the center because I know this is a preface to doing a princess line. And eventually these are gonna connect right over bus point to give me a princess line. So that's where I'm gonna start. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna take our scissors and our ruler and we're gonna draw a line from the center of the shoulder to the bus point. This does not have to be a real line. This is gonna be a slash line. And we're gonna be slashing in the fold line of the dart, which is this bottom line, all the way along the fold line to the bust point. Technically, they should be in the same place. I think mine shifted on my paper. Okay. So we're gonna scissors, slash down to bust point, scissors in from dart, into bust point. This is gonna be our pivot where our paper is hanging. All right, it might be the sloper. It might be how deep you cut that dart, this dart. And if you got all the way like extended beyond the tip of the dart so you can get your pencil all the way to the tip. I know mine are short. So I know mine's not gonna line up exactly. Okay, once we have this done, I like to take the bottom piece and pivot it on top just because then I can see the guidelines to make sure I'm closing this dart appropriately. It's harder 
if it's the other way, but it just depends on how you trace. Your dart is not going to line up in here. You can see my original dart is right here. But what I'm worried about are my vertical lines right here at seam line. They may not line up right here on the side seam. We're lining up this line. Just like we did when we were closing waistline darts. So I'm just going to tape that shut. And you can see how that opened up my shoulder. Okay, now before I do anything with the dart here in the shoulder, because I'm not going to have this dart coming all the way down to this point, I need to make sure I can fill that in with paper, but I also need to draw my bust circle before I go any farther. Your bust circle on a bust is bigger. Oh, so out of proportion. Good thing it's just for the video. I could use a compass, but you know, I've already got my end one done. This one doesn't have to be super clean. Once I get my circle, I know where my bust or where my shoulder dart has to end. My paper is still gapping here, so I'm gonna find the middle of that gap right here at the circle. My new dart edge, my new dart edge, my new dart point. Draw in the new dart, fold the new dart. Is it a vertical dart or a horizontal dart? Vertical. vertical. So your extra is gonna be folded towards the arm's eye, towards the center, towards the center. That means this is your fold line. Fold in the dart, seam allowance it. Fold in the dart, seam allowance it. True up this side seam. Make sure you're going from seam point to seam point. Don't try to correct just over this bubble. Make sure you seam line correct the whole thing. And you should end up with something similar to this. Now you can see my duck bill up here on my dart. Vertical darts, these are more pronounced, and this is a pretty wide dart. So depending on how you fold it, it will change how your duckbill sits. So I can tell if your duckbill is wrong, because it'll be obvious to me. What's your aesthetic? Looking at this pattern piece, knowing that I have a seam allowance right here, what is my aesthetic going to look like? It will have a center seam. Which means right here on this, it will have an additional style line right up the front. Do you want it? Do you not want it? You choose. It's hard to tell because this tag is right here in the middle. It's not super obvious. I don't know that I would want it and have it closed because I just want this unbroken here in the middle. But what happens if you're doing a keyhole, partial zip, quarter zip, a Henley, a yoke, a total front placket? All those things could change and give you those style lines in the front that would be desirable.